Today we're going to talk about what are the rules for when you're dividing with exponents and what happens if we happen to have any negative exponents. Let's start with dividing. So here's our fancy word for dividing, quotient of powers. Here's the rule. The rule says if you have a to the m divided by a to the n, you will notice you're simply subtracting the little bitty numbers. The rules for dividing what we call big numbers, or the coefficients, does not change. But for the little bitty numbers, we're going to subtract them today when we divide. Let's look at our example. Let's start with our big numbers. So we're going to use this guy right here. This will be our fraction bar. Let's start with 4 divided by 8. If I reduce 4 divided by 8, that is 1 half. Now let's divide our exponents. x to the fifth divided by x to the first. The rule says, and if you go back over here, you're supposed to subtract the two little numbers here. So if I did x to the fifth minus 1, that would be x to the fourth. And so we would put x to the fourth. And our answer would be 1 times x to the fourth would actually be x to the fourth. And you would just put that over 2. And here is our answer. But what happens if we happen to have some negative exponents? Let's jump down to the very bottom here. There's a little fancy rule that I use. It's called change the sign to positive and cross the line. So it's change the sign, cross the line. So look at our example here. If you have a negative exponent in the bottom, change the sign. So here I'll give you this example here. We change the sign from negative to positive, and then you just put it up top. Then look at this example here. x to the negative third, that's the same thing as saying x to the negative third over 1. So what you do is, you, you can see right here, this is my answer. You change the sign to positive, and you cross the line. So it has to jump to the bottom. What would that look like in an example? So we don't want to work with negative exponents. We want to change everything to positive first. Then we'll apply our rules. So let's rewrite this guy with positive exponents. We're going to use this as our fraction bar. So we're going to write 12. y to the negative third. Remember, we want to make it positive 3. So you change the sign to positive, and you cross the line. So that means that the y to the third is actually going to go on the bottom. So this goes away. Then we need to write everything we have on the bottom here. We have 4xy. So now you have 4xy, y to the third. All of that is being multiplied. We could rewrite that as y times y to the third. That's the same as saying 4xy to the fourth. We talked about that the other day. Whenever you multiply with exponents, you're adding them. Now, let's see if we can clean this up here. We can. We can reduce 12 over 4. I'm going to draw our fraction bar. 12 divided by 4 is a whole number of 3. So 3 is going to go on top. And then we just leave x, y to the fourth on the bottom. So remember, if you have negative exponents, <coughs> excuse me, change the sign, cross the line. 